This is TradingETFs.com. Today is February 5th, 2016. This is an ETF update on the three open positions that we have right now. Uh, the first one I'll start off with is the GLD. This is the uh, long-term oscillator chart. And we had entered a, a trade on January 25th, which was this day here. Um, we had opened or entered the position at 105 and 90 cents. And um, so you can see here, we moved up a little bit two days, moved back down one day. And then you notice during that period of time, the oscillator continued to rise. In fact, these dots kept widening, which suggested that momentum was continuing to the upside. And here we see that over the next few days, uh, the uh, price momentum started to increase. And here we are now approaching the 112. We closed today at 112.32. My initial price objective was 114, which was the previous high uh, back in October, mid-October. So we're approaching that level um, pretty soon here. So I, I'm looking to put out a sell signal on this trade. Um, so the way that I would approach this is Monday, um, we should see gold continue to rise. And again, ideally, we want to get out at the 114 level. So if we can open up and get above that 114 level, then I would put a stop at 114 so that if we had exceeded 114, you put your stop in at 114. So if we come down and get to 114 and start moving down, you're going to get sold out of your position as a way to lock in the profit. Um, if we don't open up very strongly and we kind of meander around here, then there's still enough momentum here to be able to continue up over the next couple of days. So again, what I'm saying is that if we open up on Monday with a big move to the upside, then I would immediately put in the stop loss at 114. That way you're assured to get um, out of the position if it drops below 114. If we move up a little bit to 113 or so, then it really becomes a matter of how strong the move is to the upside. Um, we, we, we don't want to lose any of the profit that we've made at this point, um, but we want to try and see if we can get to this previous high of 114 before we start placing in our orders to sell. Um, the, the one thing I do always believe in is that you can sell when you can, not when you have to. So we're approaching an overbought level. Uh, I, I'm sorry, we're already at an overbought level. We're simply trying to see how much farther the price can move up to be able to just maximize the return at this point. But we definitely are not looking to give back any of the return. So Monday, um, we'll, we'll, we'll actually know Sunday evening what the gold market looks like. And I, I will probably have to put out an alert um, to everyone giving um, the uh, the uh, instructions for closing out the position on Monday. So um, let's take a look over at the short-term oscillator and uh, determine just how overbought we are on this move to the upside. So you can see we've already surpassed the previous overbought levels here. And again, we're just looking to see how much more profit we might be able to squeeze out of this trade and then go ahead and move to the sideline, take our profit, and then reevaluate. Um, so I would look for an update Sunday evening or Monday morning um, when I can take a look to see what the gold market is doing, and that'll determine what we do to close out the position. But again, we, we've got a profit in here, and we're looking to maximize it, and we don't want to give any back, any, any other return we've made back. So um, look out for that update Sunday or Monday morning.